and gentlemen, welcome back to Genshin Impact. So, the time <laughs> has finally come. <sighs> okay. I've been playing forever. I've done every event. I've got all the I got seven crowns But today is still a very very big day We are going to finally crown a certain character now everybody all of you knew who this was I think some people thought it might have been Eula um, <laughs> But not probably hopefully not a lot of you because <laughs> it's pretty on the nose <laughs> who it was regardless uh, ladies and gentlemen, and I, I, there's multiple reasons why I'm doing this. One of the reasons is that I love Razor to Pieces in terms of his character. I think his backstory is metal as hell. I think his design puts so many other, like, five-star characters' designs to shame. He's got the badass hoodie, his details, his fucking, like, backstory within his actual character. Where he's got scars all over his body because of he grew up with wolves and shit. Um, but also, not, but not only that, but he's still a kind, caring, and, and nurturing person. Um, which is a character that I, I greatly uh, uh, hold dear. But he is also a character that I got full constellation really quick. Um, it was one of the first banners I wished on, he was on one of them, and I happened to get a lot of just him. In fact, I got like seven of him, like a little bit too much of him. Um, but uh, he was the person that kind of took me through the game, and honestly, it, he made the game a lot more manageable and easier to, to digest so that I could make guides for you guys. So the way fate kind of panned out, I lucked out immensely by having a character that can actually hold his weight with relative ease. Um, and then Eula came out. And the reason why she's a part of his story is because I wanted to cover Eula, make videos on her, and show her off, as well as I liked the design of Eula so, so much as well. Um, so I ended up getting Eula an amazing set. Turns out if you get Eula an amazing um, artifact set, the Pale Wind set, you I get everybody you who is also a physical DPS or anything of that nature a really, really good artifact set. So I slapped it on Razor, and I was blown away. Um, again, I, I do think there's a pretty, really good argument for Eula just being insane. Um, but Razor is a, again, I keep mentioning this, but he's a different kind of insane. He is, uh, I haven't experienced any character in the game that is even near as consistent as Razor, period. Um, especially if you have good artifacts. And I think it's a shame because people say he's a, like, see, people throw him to the side and say he's like a four star or that he's a basic bitch <laughs> and you are basically just auto attacking which is every character in this whole game, outside of maybe elementals, like, guys, we're not playing Dark Souls, you can relax, okay? I really think that argument's a little nutty, like, wow. <laughs> Anyways, bitterness aside, um, yes, Razor, I actually ended up playing, and again, the good news for anyone who's, uh, who has Eula and also Razor is that Razor is just a really, really ver consistent variant of Eula. That doesn't mean she, he makes uh, Eula redundant. Eula, Eula can be amazing for bossing or whatever, uh, but Razor can just pop out and deliver, whereas Eula has to build up some stacks, uh, you're trying to build up this elemental weakness, and by the process of you building up your elemental weakness, by it taking so long to get your E back to do that, most enemies die, and that's, uh, you're, like, you don't have anything to use that ability on, um, because it just takes so long to do that, and if you're using your other characters, you're gonna be melting ca characters within, like, a four second window, um, usually, and if, unless they're bosses, and even then, a lot of times, if you guys will see any built Eula's play, fight against bosses, they'll have the smallest bit of health uh, left uh, by the time they do 2 million or, or 200,000 damage. Uh, whereas Razor just had, like can kill quick and has a lot more after his thing ends. And he can back to back almost within his alt. He has like a couple seconds of downtime, but it's nothing excessive. Regardless, me gushing about Razor aside, um, today we are going to be crowning, I don't know if we're going to be doing all of him, because I want to really test everything. Also, I wanted to see how how much does Razor gain from leveling up his constellations, but also, how much does a character gain, specifically a 4 star, if you happen to have these benchmark uh, constellations such as this, which basically give you 3 extra points within your stat for a maximum of, I think, 13 in your upgrade tree. Um, I don't know why it says maximum of 15. Yeah, because we're only able to get 13, so... Don't know what that's about. Maybe in the future they'll buff it, or maybe there's other characters that give you another one? Maybe in the future they'll make they'll give you another two if you have them in your kit. I don't know. Basically, I just want to see if it, this is if it's better to invest in a four star that you have consolations for this one, um, and this one, basically both of his talents or his abilities, then 
a, a, a five star character that's also a DPS. So we have Eula and we have Razor. I want to see if because we get three extra points in deep, deep into his investment, that it is better to bet or better to invest in a four star that you have this much constellations for to where you can actually uh, have 13 of their talent upgrades, not just 10. So we'll see. Uh, I don't know. Regardless, our Razor, even before I pumped up his talents, uh, were already, it was already doing really, really good. Not only that... But oh my god, boys, I have never like pushed, pushed, pushed a character up to his talents because usually when they're doing what I need them to do and I, it beats everything in the game, I'm like, cool. <laughs> and then also we're like destroying everything. I'm like, cool. <laughs> it's not like we're struggling even or it's barely like fit. We're way over. Um, I never leveled up a character uh, all the way like this. So uh, point being is uh, it's a very expensive it's like a one two million one hundred thousand i think is what it is and also just a mess of talent books like a stupid amount of talent books and again the rarest resource in the game now again i hear you guys in my ear all right some of y'all saying hey grin what the absolute fuck genshin releases main dps characters all the time wait for it all the time <laughs> what is what <laughs> what is happening why why a four star also um well my friend uh you make a lot of sense but i am a person who acts from the soul from the heart whatever you want raises a lot for me he's always been always been the character that I've, I've had any slight inkling to want to level him up just because crowns are important Please. and also i love using razor razor's kit's amazing and incredibly fun and intuitive and feeds within it uh, into itself perfectly bar none controversial compact comment maybe but razor feeds into himself perfectly everything goes into the one thing and then back to the other thing and then bop 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 boom done great perfect don't come for me anyway not saying he's godly or broken i'm just saying that again his kit feels like everything makes sense and it's working perfectly into itself let's commence us running around and messing with stuff on a baseline to see what how everything scales so this is razor's talents right now um also one thing i want to say if you happen to have eula and razor and people are like yeah but grin you have a constellation uh whatever it's called constellation six of razor uh that's why he's crazy no razor's co constellations are some of the worst in the game i think um he has this which when an enemy's below 30 health he gets crit rate 10 that's such a small amount of crit rate and such a small amount of health that it's ridiculous anyways um he has this one decreases defense okay not the worst but it's only by 15 percent, guys you can get that with jungle shield easy um anyways uh and then this one where he basically is like hey by the way so now his main attack uh gives you more damage and you can generate a seal the seal is the only one that's kind of cool there because it helps you get to your alt faster um but otherwise eh, it's not, none of this is great none of it None of it, not at all. <laughs> this the first one. Maybe is okay. Uh, give him a better uh, elemental regen or whatnot, or elemental damage for electro. But again, most razors are built for physical damage. Uh, you can build them from electro, but with the new set, I think it just makes sense to go uh, purely uh, physical. But you can also go electro if you wanted that. I just like the physical because again, it's it makes razor what I think he's supposed to be, which is just the character that can constantly deliver without any sort of like fluff in the way like elemental shields or whatever and even then you can still melt shields because all you need to do is apply the element you don't need to hit the hard with that element so yeah anyway so now let's commence us running around the world and trying to see um what where razor <laughs> where razor is on a base level also uh i apologize because i did a goof um i we were on stream a couple days ago and you guys were like grin you covered razor and eula without using um rocket girl to decrease their defense uh or physical defense and i'm like yeah i, I, I mean first of all yes you're 100 correct that's a goof on me I, I just completely left my mind but at the same time i'm kind of like well i feel like it's more of a reasonable thing to not like constantly use shin yan to lower defense because you know there's like shin shows that can just constantly deliver damage and all the other nonsense <laughs> so yeah but regardless fair point we'll make probably a redemption video of both of them um and again i still need to get a good critical damage helmet with crit rate or crit damage tied to it so yes there's more more to be done of course also um the build that we got going on for razor right now 
is superconduct. Um, essentially, uh, also, if we wanted to do this a little bit better, uh, we could switch and put um, Rosario on the field, which actually may be quite beneficial uh, about, uh, in the place of Chi Chi because, uh, yeah, Rosario can give us a critical rate and all that stuff. Okay, so we're going to go with Razor. Just real, frankly, trash. Uh, now these levels are level 80, so on a bad day, he's hitting for, well, that was a, that was a bad example because, yeah. Okay, what is he... 10,000. Well, now I'm not sure that's good, too. Let's see. Uh, 10,000. 10,000 on a bad day. Pretty consistently. Yeah, 10,000 constantly. By the way, our, our stats for our characters have changed only slightly. Um, so if we go to Razor, um, I basically had like 4 or 4 uh, crit, crit rate. Essentially, now we have 50. Um, so we're going to be getting a bump if I use two cryo people to 60, which should take care of us. Or I could use Rosaria and get more than that. So yeah, that's what we're going with right now. That's this is what my Razor skills are, by the way. We have uh, a lot of physical damage, a lot of a lot of physical damage, as well as a lot of resistances, because yeah, um, as well as uh, no element mastery, because he does not benefit much from it at all. So yeah, mostly just uh, attack and all this weird stuff. But regardless, we can use our E. Our E's hitting for twelve thousand, by the way, and because it's raining, it's chaining. Um, okay, wait, no, that one. Now we're hitting for for four thousand. We were hitting for ten thousand a minute ago. I wonder what's changed. Uh, okay, so now that, yeah, they, I hit him with my E, so that made their defense go down. I'm um, also, what's our... So that hit for 10,000. It's weird that sometimes it's hitting for 10,000, other times it's not. I wonder if it's just not getting lucky with critting. I mean, it makes sense. It's a 50-50 chance, but Razor also has his alt, which is alt can constantly trigger um, uh, his attack a lot, so he can flip the coin for that 50-50 quite consistently. Uh, regardless, let's see. I'm um, Also, this is kind of a skewed thing. The numbers are getting messy because it's raining <laughs> for... 4,000, 11,000 on one hit there. If I can only hit the person, I could do this, do some of this, freeze him. So now we have a, a little bit of a crit rate. Oh, that's Rosari has crit rate. Again, it's just the fact that things get fucking eviscerated. Like, like you don't, you, again, like, if I were to actually be playing and not trying to slow hit them and see a number, then it wouldn't go better. Let's, let's go to the spiral abyss because I feel like this is getting quite messy and hard to see. Um, also, there's nothing that benefits Razor in the Spiral Abyss. Uh, no special modifier, nothing like that, which is great. Also, also I'm sorry, I'm not making a big enough deal <laughs> about some of this stuff. Razor hit with, uh, what is it, 9? Um, no, we don't want any benefit. We're going with health. We're not going to get any benefit any benefit in here. And also, the, the domain does not give us a benefit anyway. It gives us swirl benefits, but it's not this one. It's the next one, but also that's just above... Any swirl detonation, which we're not doing, is going to get buffed in this all of the domains for this uh, spiral abyss. But anyways, um, again, our thing, our melee attack is at level 9. I can't show you guys, but our talent you guys see is at level 9, and it's hitting for 10,000 damage without superconduct, without anything like that. Um, so imagine if you had any sort of damage amplification thing, like a Zhongli uh, shield, which buffed up our uh, their resistance, but also I have Zhongli on the middle of the set, so we get, I think it's 20 or 40% bonus attack. So again, I'm, this is just flat base, 10,000 damage, and it's not even crowned yet, so, yeah. <laughs> I may, we may make another video where we're like, here's what it is, boys, because I want to go through and showcase, like, again, you guys don't need, um, like, a Razor, uh, again, maybe his alt and his uh, E are, are getting, like, two extra bonuses, two extra bumps. If you don't have any consolation, you'll be at 10, I'm at 12, about to be 13. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit of weirdness there, but I digress. Uh, let's uh, let's just again see our base damage we're hitting for uh, 9,000 to 10,000 on a very low end. It does look like we're hitting for 4,000 to uh, 3,000. If I'm being, if I'm seeing correctly. Also, I just don't want to have no health, so we're just gonna do this. Now that's actually bad because we're gonna, again the middle of this set's gonna give me a little more damage, which is why we're now dealing 13,000 damage uh, to 12,000 damage, and we're also getting frozen, <laughs> which is hella annoying. Um, anyways, let's, uh, let's activate Superconduct. Now we're gonna do this. Superconduct activated. We are hitting for 15,000. Again, pretty wild. <laughs> pretty wild. Again, we're gonna switch to Rosaria. Keep applying all this stuff. Uh, we're gonna do this. Uh, also, our E is hitting for 12,000, which is nutty. And if I can move... Oh my goodness! <laughs> can we not? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just retry it. That's the worst. This is nobody's gonna suck ass anyway. Okay, yeah, so we're just trying to get numbers. So again, um, with super conduct, we're hitting her 15,000 damage, and I don't even have my alt up. If I have my alt up, my alt gives me, I think it's like 45 or some crazy buff to my base attack, and it also gives me electro constantly, and it also jumps up my attack speed by a lot, but not as much as I said. So forgive me on that. I was a couple bit off. I thought it 
yeah, I'll explain in a minute. But regardless, let's now see what just his E does without anything. Um, that I might die here because uh, Zhongli basically gives us. Uh, I'm not gonna put on Zhongli's shield because it gives us resistance. Weird enough, weird stuff. So I don't want to see that. But let's see. Bang. Um, what was that? I can't. Let's do it. With this guy. <laughs> this one. Wait for a minute. Wait for it. And this. Uh, two thousand. Wait, it hits for harder for that. We've seen it hit harder for that. 13,000. Okay, so there we go. 13,000 on a base hit when it does crit. Um, and uh, and also, again, it's, it's kind of a skewed thing because this is a bad... I wanted to go here because it's level 80, so they're a little more higher level for us. You see, it's like anywhere from 15 because it's like chaining, so it's hard to really see. Yeah, so 12,000 there. So on the high end, it looks like it's 12. 15,000 again. Again, like, see, th th this is what I'm, what I'm more used to. And also, we don't have Zhongli's shield equipped anymore. 14,000 again, but it's 14,000 plus 15,000 because it's uh, it's elemental reacting because it's water. We're hitting a water slime. Maybe we should take care of these guys. These guys are pissing me off. <laughs> you guys are not, not nonsense. Leave me alone. So let's say 12,000 on the low end, 15,000 on the high end. I think when I seen 5,000, uh, it was it was the reaction damage, not the actual impact of, of his hit, which makes more sense. Let's do a charge attack. 15,000, I believe that's 15,000 on the low end though, because that, that should hit like way, way harder than normal. Let's wait for our charge attack, because it's on a longer cooldown when you do the charge. 15,000 again, that does make sense. <laughs> so let's also do this, so it might be a little bit higher. I just want to not die, you know. 21,000, but we also have Zhongli's shield on, so probably 20,000. So uh, 15,000, or uh, 14,000, and then 20,000 on the high end. Um, for our charge slash hit with our one thing and that's incredible <laughs> anyways um, Again, and that can pop out consistently. That's the thing. That's a little like okay. <laughs> okay. Anyways now Let's test out what our alt does which is at 12 by the way So that was what our E does basically like 13 to 20 and if you have Zhongli shield on it's basically just 2,000 or 1,000 more damage than that uh, on both ends. That's pretty cool um, now let's uh Let's just activate his alt again. We may die because we're being weird <laughs> the way we're playing. We're gonna do this. Actually, no. What you what you should do <laughs> that I keep fa ma failing on is this. You should do this, this, especially when you already have your alt. So you're right, right there. We did seventeen thousand. So never mind. It's a, quite a bit more. Actually, no, twenty thousand. What we said, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, regardless, what do you call? It? We're hitting for how much now? Ten thousand. Well, we should be hitting for significantly more than that because we're getting amplified damage on the on the one thing whenever we activate our alt. Hmm. Regardless, guess what? More alt. <laughs> that's the other amazing thing. But so twelve. So two thousand with the electro. So that's pretty. That's pretty terrible. <laughs> um. But when we actually do uh, sync up a hit. Yeah. So twenty thousand right there. So twenty thousand when we have our alt equipped. Pretty ma Pretty amazing. <laughs> Uh, we're also going to throw on the shield now, just so we stop again. It's mostly just because I don't want to die and have to reset the whole spiral of this again. <laughs> but anyways, we have our ult again. Uh, when we activate it, we just get 12,000 on a base, which is cool. If I could do anything, that'd be great. Uh, so yeah, it looks like, well, I don't know, because it doesn't make the most sense, because we're hitting for like 13,000 or 10,000 on a base, and we should be getting significantly more uh, damage amplification on our, uh, our one thing. So maybe we're just not seeing the right numbers? <clears throat> Hi guys, me here in post and or in editing. Uh, basically what was happening here is I forgot of the pale wind set and requirement. So first of all, again, the point of this test is to try to not give ourselves an unfair advantage. Uh, like I'm trying to use Zhongli's shield, but I'm also trying to not use it because it will give us uh, the Millilith bonus, which is double attack or whatever, and just bonus shield. Um, it also re decreases their physical and elemental resistance, which Razor can make good use of both of another positive to Razor. But, um, yes, a basic guy should be using my E twice, and that's why when you'll see us using our E inadvertently twice, uh, just to do it, uh, we end up dealing a crap ton more damage, so that's why there's some weird variability. But on the high end, the highest of highs, we're hitting for like 23 to I've seen like 30 uh, pretty consistently if you have everything going. But again, we'll get to that maybe in the next video. Actually, I guess that makes sense. That does check out because one of the things that we're not utilizing is our physical damage detonation essentially. So lowering the physical damage of the characters themselves. We're not doing that, which is what our main attack is dealing. Uh, so we're just being able to see what, what basically elemental stuff is doing, which we could, by the way, just switch one piece of our thing and go elemental. 
not really because I'm one of the pieces that I'm rocking has to be on there uh, sorry but this is what I was was rambling about um so this gives you yeah um a 28 bonus to your normal attack so that should be significantly more so so that when we're when we're mailing we're hitting for like 10 to 12 or whatever kind of damage and then when we're when we activate this at least in the eula video we're hitting for 12,000 now with that being said though or sorry 20,000 but with that being said though we did activate superconduct so I do want to kind of go back and see what that's all about. Um, also, again, we're, this is one thing I was pointing out. Um, we're getting 40% attack bonus and electro bonus or el electro resistance. Um, and our electro bonus, though, is not so crazy, unfortunately. That's the little bit of the bad parts. But again, you could get away with that because of how consistent your alt is. If you're just using your E once in your alt, you're basically going to be able to f cycle right back into uh, uh, raging out with your with your thing. Also, um, I may make a video on, uh, on like, the crowning razor even though today this whole video is a lot of me being like this is why <laughs> because I, I yeah it just doesn't really work out really well uh, restore characters health yeah because we just don't want anything um let's go and oh, this time i think we will put on his shields all right now let's use what we'd actually use in a fight um let's go to you <laughs> instead of this other weird shit all right let's apply this super conduct was activated 16,000, I bet 20,000 if we actually, uh, if it critted. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. Why is it 6? Is it because it's getting resist? Yeah, 25,000 was just then. Yeah, so I think that's what we're now dealing. We're almost at 30,000 if we, if the enemies don't have a damn shield. I'm also, let's do this. Let's do, that's gonna kill you. Boo. 10,000. Again, boo. <laughs> I can't show off anything because y'all die too quick. Let's do this. Let's do this to put on our shield again. You can't run. One hit. Ah! <laughs> shield. Yeah. This. And now this. And now this. 15,000. 16,000 again we hit for 20,000 so this is like it's just getting really unlucky I've seen we hit for 2,000 okay none of that works because every domain I go into they're like yeah we have a shield that's gonna reduce your damage by a fuck ton have, have fun yeah have fun showing you asshole and I'm like great <laughs> thanks man you fucking rat anyway let's uh let's go and uh, fight the water or the fire boss but in the next video we should be able to see what razor can actually do at triple crown but again I'm I'm again one of the things that's a little frustrating is I'm trying to show you guys the exact damage number and uh, and razor is a character that it's it's again he attacks incredibly quickly and he hits like he hits like seven different things so like his wolf hits his blade hits his e hits so it's it's not like a big ass damage number it's kind of like the exact opposite of eula it's like a, a thousand things coming into sequence uh which is awesome but anyways uh let's i want to go in here with super conduct is basically where i'm at and i want this to be melted and also, I would rather not use Shing Cho's ability, which is my bad. That's a little gonna be a little messy. Ah, sixteen thousand, eight thousand, the low end, six thousand, fifteen thousand. He died. I couldn't see shit. <laughs> yeah, fucking really. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like I'm, I'm, we're killing things probably faster than Eula, but it, it doesn't fucking matter because I can't see the big numbers. So people are like, "Oh, you're only dealing like, f what is it, 8k on the low end, you bitch?" But it's like, but my wolf is hitting for damage, and also I got Shin Cho hitting for damage, and also got Zhongli Li hitting for ja damage, and also I hit so quickly that it doesn't matter because we're hit, we're flipping the coins so much, so it just looks a little less lavish than Eula, who's like twirling about and then smacks a hammer on the ground but yet the enemy is almost dead by the time you get there or you could just play razor and have extra damage after his alt ends and being able to cycle right back into his alt and constantly have the resistances the fire rates the buffing to your normal damage and all that stuff yes <laughs> anyways uh, but that's what i mean <laughs> it's where things kind of shit the bed really hard let's go see if we can do the uh, the cryo boss maybe he'll resist a lot more let's do one of these Generate some particles because we're gonna need to start doing that. We're gonna do this just cuz we're gonna do this just to get more particles So we can cycle into our thing with greater ease. We're gonna do this. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare <laughs> This uh, This just cuz again, hopefully that gives us some invincibility frames and I need my alt They should probably give us our alt or at least close to Give me a minute. We'll enter into our alt with a charge one of these which is probably how you should enter into your alt 
Um, okay, Super Conduct's activated. We're hitting 15,000, 7,000. Again, we were hitting for 20,000, so what's happening? Again, I get like three hits in, and I got so much time to play with my Wolf Boy and just constantly keep delivering damage, whereas this is not what you look and say. Well, you can't keep doing damage. It's just that she doesn't have the benefits of like a faster attack speed and all these things. But I digress. Love you, Eula. Hey, look at me. Eula, love her. Great. But um, this video is for Razor, so that's why I'm... And she's the only kind of comparison that I can compare uh, to, and also she's a five-star. Uh, so even if she is better, it's not by much. And also, what the fuck? <laughs> he's a four-star, which is great. Keep that up, homie. Oh, wait, he came out in the beginning of the game, and he's always been like this? Oh! God in heaven, will we get another four-star character that's this good? Yomi exists. Yomi's good. I don't know if she's this good. All right? Yeah, <laughs> probably is if with enough investment. That's also something that I should point out is with enough investment, every character is a little stupid and ridiculous and frankly nonsense at that. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, I did not expect this to be this video. This is going to be part one of us crowning our character. It took a long time to showcase all of his bells and whistles. Uh, long story short, again, um, he hits really, really hard. And if you look at his modifiers, it makes sense. Again, unlike other characters, uh, every time he ascends, he gets a pretty giant buff. Uh, like he's, this is a bad example, but uh, this is a better one where you go from dealing, uh, like, what is it, a 398 to 423. I know it doesn't seem like a giant jump, but it is. Um, and yeah, uh, and I'm, I'm ready. I'm really, I'm ready to full send. Razor, who is also, by the way, yes, and four, that's a little shitty. Okay, so when you get Razor to level 10, he's he already has achieved his max speed bonus for the thing. The only thing that scales up is, of course, his normal attack being better, which is kind of funny because the new character coming is called Yumi or even Hu Tao, where their normal attack gets skyrocketed and Razor only gets 40, what is it, 40, uh, 51%, which is good, but it's not 150 is what Yomi's going to get, uh, which is maybe the next character we're going to be uh, crowning. Regardless, because uh, we need two great DPSs for Spiral Abyss. So what do you want from me? It kind of makes sense and adds up. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, I could be, I'll be honest. If Razor sucked ass, like we were dealing like maybe 10,000 on the high end and like seven to 8,000 on the low end, I would still pick Razor. Why? Because his alt's constantly up. And um, uh, what was the other thing that was crazy about him? Uh, he has a, a fast ass attack speed. So any character that has any sort of like Shincho or Baido level thing where whenever you attack, it triggers their their alt effect essentially is huge for people who can attack fast um and yeah also i just like razor again that's another thing if razor was kind of just razor would just have to be passable in order for me to be like you know what you took me very far into the game made my experience a lot better i owe it to you to crown your ass um and to call it good and to full send it i will say as of like good old guide grin guy dr guy trying to help y'all out um it's probably best to not crown dps's because they come and go and they keep potentially getting stronger and stronger and stronger probably best to you know crown shinchos or ultimately a zhongli because you're i don't know i don't know a future where they're not extremely great <laughs> so good news is only one or two of their abilities you really need to crown uh, cause yeah, Razor, I'm doing all of it cause I'm a psycho lunatic and I've been hanging on to my crowns because I'm that guy who hoards and doesn't know how to make choices. So I just, and then I just break essentially. Then I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> get all of it. Let's get everything, <laughs> every shred of all of it. But ladies and gentlemen, in the next video, we're going to do it. We're going to flip the switches, see what the damage at is at, at that point. Can't wait. Full send. Ah, <laughs> but alas, thank you so much for your time and putting out with me. Um, I'm sorry if the damn if the scaling stuff, the showcase wasn't as uh, clean as normal. Again, I don't know what was happening because we were hitting consistently for twenty thousand in in the spiral abyss at some point, and now we were only hitting for uh, like f sixteen on on some high. We did hit for twenty thousand, so I know it's possible. I just think it's when it's critting perfectly on like the right hit of his combo. That's when you're gonna see things like. 34,000 damage in one hit because the way Razor works is each combo builds. I'll explain in the next video. I don't want to go off again, but thank you so much for your time, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day. Subscribe button's over there. Thank you again, and of course, goodbye.